it is. I have the 67 pink dusk rose fastback all completed. I've had some videos on this channel um, over the past couple years actually, um, just because this was a personal car, so I kind of did it in stages. And then here at the end, I just wanted to get it done. So I've been busting my butt for the past couple months, um, collecting parts, restoring parts, putting it back together, and this is the final product. Everything is done on it. Now the only thing I have to do is drive it, um, which I'm enjoying that. It, it drives excellent. Um, so I'm just gonna go over a little bit of the car and what it is because the car is for sale, as you could tell by the title on this video. Um, and just to jump right to it, the asking price on this car is 125,000. And before everyone jumps off the deep end, all oh, this guy's crazy, look at the car in person if you're interested. Um, if you see the car in person, you'll know the quality of it. And um, that should stand out to you. And the fact of the rarity of this car, I know of only three other pink fastbacks um, beyond that. Who knows, there, there may not be any more. Um, they could have been scrapped. Uh, but this one here is a 289 three-speed manual um, originally, which I'll show you the Marty report here also. But I'll just go around the car and show you some of the things that were done and what was done in the process. But if you trace back my videos, you can see the shell come together before it was painted. Um, so all the metal that was needed replaced was replaced. Um, and I did everything as far back to original as I possibly could and or I left some things off of the car that could have went on um, like exterior moldings like a rocker molding um, I could have put those on but they can always be added later if I wasn't if I didn't sell the car which I'm not pressed to and I end up keeping it this is the way that I would want it so I did it the way that I would want to keep it um, and those little add-on things can always be done later on down the road. So let's jump into the interior. Everything's all fully rebuilt. Um, new pieces everywhere, some original pieces throughout. A lot of powder coating because I do powder coating here. Um, lots of brackets are powder coated. Anything that is powder coat or a bull is done, pedal assemblies, latches, hinges, stuff like that. Um, but everything is done back to the way it should be here on the interior of this 67 with a standard interior with a deluxe seat belt. And I did put the deluxe seat belts back in it. So this is all original interior trim panels. They are the fiberglass ones. They're, they're the nicest set that I've collected over years of buying 67s, 68s. Anytime I had a good part, I kept the better of them to build this car. So this is done with all of the best parts that I've collected over the years. Um, so if I would keep it, this is, like I said, this is the way that I wanted it done. So everything's, uh, it just, uh, the, the, if you're really interested, you'd have to get a hold of me just to, and to see the car to go over everything that's done. But even I'm just thinking of the seats. These are original seat frames, the front and the back. I had them sent out, sandblasted. I powder coated the actual frames of everything. So I don't skip any corners at all whenever I'm putting together a car like this. So, I mean, you could go over this thing and just see the, the level of which I'm taking my restorations to which is the way that it should be done, in my opinion. So the engine bay, everything's done the way that it should have been from the factory or I mean, better than the factory. Engine is painted with the ceramic Eastwood blue. The engine bay is actually a 30% gloss paint. Power steering pumps painted the right way. Front brackets. We're all powder coated. This aluminum here is powder coated aluminum. Uh, these brackets for all the accessory drives, so they're all powder coated. It's got an original style auto light battery. I put the decals back in places where they're supposed to be. Things like that. Like I said, but this video is just to give you a kind of an overview of everything. 
to just put it out there that the car's for sale. And if anyone is seriously interested, I'm here. I'll have my email down below and get a hold of me. We could talk through that. Um, but that's it. I'm excited to get it done. I'm excited to go out and drive it. I will drive it before it actually leaves my building a good bit. Um, I won't sell it without driving it just so I can work out any kind of bugs that may come about when you road test a car, you don't know, maybe a noise pops up. That kind of stuff I like to figure out before it goes on to the next person. Um, that way they don't get a car and something pops up and I'm the blame. So I like to go over everything, over everything in depth once I have it done also. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you are interested, everything will be down below. Like I said, uh, 125000 is the asking price on it. Never hurts to shoot an offer. But um, like I said, I'm not pressed to sell it, so I'm not giving it away. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, share it, and I'll see you in the next video.